Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to create a Butcher VMA master file. I'm using Butcher VMA 14 Pro and I'm recording this. Uh, go to create a new virtual machine, go to typical set it default, find your Windows 10 18 or 3 I'm gonna use right now. Say next. Uh, it's gonna automatically set as Windows 10 64-bit. It doesn't matter anyhow, but I give it a go. So change the name, say Windows 10 1803 Master. And set your location because when you first create a virtual machine, it's quite annoying or difficult to change the location after, after that. So create a folder called VMs and Masters and Master VMs and actually inside of it create a folder named Windows 10 Windows 10 1803 Masters so yeah it's gonna keep neat and organized looks good and Click next. So I recommend you to click the butcher this as a single file because it's gonna separate it, but it's it's not necessary for it. Boom! You've done it. So you got it, and you need to edit it because it's gonna slow with the one process single processor and four gig, and two gigs, and put it as four gigs to cool and change the network adapter as a host only or you can just remove it from it we don't need it in this master, master VMs remove anything you think don't need it and that should be alright the ISO, ISO is in there and take a snapshot whenever you can every single time I recommend you to take a snapshot of it. So it's before insert, so say just before install. It's not gonna take that long because we haven't done anything. It's empty hard drive, empty virtual machine. And on description, you can say Windows 10 1803 master file. Boot it up. And just wait for a second and you need to click it click it and press any key from your keyboard otherwise it's not gonna boot from your ISO file so by the time it's doing it let's create Windows 10 not Windows Server 2016 same process create a new virtual machine typical so like ISO but well it's gonna give you easy install information which can mess up your process so I personally don't recommend this doing this and go back click I install operating system later because it's gonna give you empty virtual machine so it's bit manual but it's better for me so go back, typical, I install OS later and select Windows Server 2016 there is no 64 bits, there is only one option for it click next, set the location, same VMs in masters and create a new folder called Windows 10, uh, Windows so 2016 masters and click OK and change the name as well Windows Server 6 2016 masters keep it as single file edit it 4 gigs and if you have more than like I know 16, 16 gigs you can give it like 8 gigs for each to processor, set it as host only, and delete like whatever you think you don't need it. 
and you need to put the ISO file in there, Windows Server 2016 ISO, the latest for now, and take a snapshot, say before install. And write down some description, it doesn't matter actually, but like for organize, like management check. And go back to Windows 10, it's put it up. Language, you can change it because I said it, I download as the England, English, the United, UK, English. And the time and currency, because I'm in Australia, set in Australia. Keyword, normally most of your keyword is US setting. So in Australia as well. So keep it simple, don't change it if you don't know. Say next, install now. Go back to Windows Server. Oops, so I didn't press any key when it like needed. So I'm gonna just gonna kill it and re restart this VM. Restart. So you need to click the VM and get into it and press any key from on your keyboard right now so enter the basically the installation should be similar to the windows 10 installation but there's no OVE or like that so the this license key product key i don't have it you don't need it as well because it's in virtual machine so yeah, on the bot bottom down, we have to ignore it. Say I don't have product key. Keep it simple, Windows 10 Pro. Mm, doesn't matter, actually. Click next. Accept TNC. Next. Go to custom advanced. Click it. And you can click next, new, but there is no difference between new and next. I just wait for a second. Go to Windows Server. Same as Windows 10. Set it as English Australia. Set the keyboard as US. Set next. So actually, you can create a folder inside of the VMA. So make it organized. Say master files and or just master VMs and drag and drop your VMs inside of the folder folder yes so it's gonna be inside of the folder close some tabs if you don't need it same thing I don't have product key so in this part, you need to select desktop experience, which means GUI, G-O-I in there. Difference between standard and data center doesn't matter in normal study practice. So in, if you choose without desktop experience, it's going to give you the CUI or CUI or the text-based computing. Mm, for me, it's a bit difficult for to use it, so just keep it on standard desktop experience. Accept on terms and conditions, say next, and just wait for the installation. So, yep. Yeah. It's not done yet. Working on. Working on. Working on. So actually I'm recording this boy separately watching my videos because I messed up a little bit. So it's done. So select the country Australia, of course. Before do anything, let's create a new snapshot. Say OOBE because it's out of box experience page. 
setting up some personal details and stuff. And well, I wait for the Bing snapshots getting created. When you see left bottom, there's a say saving status and there's a percentage down there. It's basically copying, copying your VMs one to another to give you a checkpoint to go back and create a snapshot for the Windows servers as well. Well, in this video, I just waited f to be done, but it shouldn't be matter if you click or doing something. So it's done. Click next, keyboard layout. Of course, it's not UK. Go to go for US. Click yes. Second layout. Nope. Nope. Skip it. Network. Skip it for now. When you connect to network, it's gonna download some Windows, like I know bad software and windows update i don't like it so just keep it offline offline it's gonna reboot once during the oobe so just leave it it's gonna work if you try to install windows then you know what to do just wait for the like give it 10 minutes just waiting and waiting and waiting. Alright, go back to Windows Server. Nah. So, name. You can say user. Mm. Or you can just say client in this case. C L R E N T. Yes. Click next. Password say p at s s w zero r d. I call it complex password. I hit this security question say one one. This one get like started from h no three. I don't like Tana. This one privacy privacy setting. If I was installing in my real laptop or desktop, I would disable all of the option, but because it's in VM, just keep it default. And then give it a, like three, four minutes, depending depends on your PC. Boom! There you go. You got desktop. So Windows install is done actually. And there's a few touch to make it as a master VMs because you're gonna copy over and over again. And of course, creating snapshot after install. And just go for it. Yes. Well, cause I don't know, I don't like that big massive katana search button, but we can do it later. File is full, my PC, right click, properties, and you can see the computer name is desktop dash and some random alphabet and number. Uh, it's not gonna help you when you try to distinguish like some pieces between network or whatever like that change settings change name computer name i'll say client c l i e n t zero dash whatever zero one say enter yes i know i need to list out but i can do it later list out later And then right click on taskbar. Oops. Right click on taskbar. Say katana hidden. Right click 
show people button and clean the desktop right click on windows store i hate it microsoft store after that what else i need to do well yeah internet setting ip setting it's not necessary but let's do this double click properties ipv4 manual 192 192.168.10.2 default gateway 192.168.10.1 mtd dns click ok close it yes it's not gonna work for now but you can i'm getting yeah after that i need to install vmware tools go to vm install vmware tools because when you have it it's gonna enable a drag and drop file transfer between host machine and the vma i mean the butcher machine so click it it's gonna mount a vmware tool iso file inside of it so ignore it go to file x4 go to this pc there is a dvd drive mounted a vmware tool double click yes and yeah it's not gonna do it automatically so you need to click and like setup and stuff waiting waiting is working click it next 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 yes go to windows server or just waiting just waiting yeah Blink a screen a little bit, so right. Finished! So basically, this VM is ready to cloning. But before that, yeah, it, it requires restart as well. Before that, just restart a machine once and turn it off and get a snapshot for clone. Sounds good. So you can see reinstall VMA tools, that means VMA detected VMA tools inside of that VM and yeah, it's gonna work. Please wait, sure. Alrighty. And you can see the name is client, password is complex password. There you go, that's about it, and yeah, the windows post break and I see, show you the computer name, but for now, let's remove all the windows, these empty Microsoft applications, unpin from start, all of them. Otherwise, it's gonna, like, if the internet is connected, it's gonna update and download all the, like, crappy stuff. See, the computer name is client01. Windows key R, CMD, IP config, the IP config 192.168.10.2, default gateway is set as well. And to test a VMA tool, let's create a folder drag and drop to host machine it is working yes vice versa should work 
Yeah, just empty it. Nope, empty. Yes, and because change to this PC, I don't want to seek the quick access, which is like there is no point of viewing it, doing like seeing it. Shut down. Mm, that should be about it, all right. Make a snapshot, say ready for clone, ready for cloning, and this virtual machine is not gonna turn it on again like normally. And I recommend you to write down some description because you might forget what's in there or what did, what did you done. PC name client01. Username, client, password is complex password. And what else? The IP address. IP address 192.168.10.2 slash 24. Default gateway 192.168.10.1. Great. And VML tools is installed. Next snapshot. Great. And let's get back to Windows Server 2016. Shall we? You need to, there is said like you need to press Ctrl Alt Delete, but you can't. It's gonna activate the host machine's control alt delete option. So there is a button like on the top saying send a control alt delete. And I thought there is a shortcut for it, but never mind. Yeah, there is a drop down menu as well. Click it. Administrator say password is password, complex password. Because it's first time booting up, it's, it might take a little bit of time. So basically, you should do the same thing as the Windows 10 master file. Again, Windows push break, gonna activate the Win system properties. And Shortcut, change name, instead of that win whatever the random alphabet and number. Say server, SRV means server, server01. Click OK. I know I need to restart. Close it. Restart later. Install VML tools. This PC double click. And say view options, explore to this PC. IP address, yeah. Next, next, install, excellent. IP address, click it, properties, IPv4, manual IP settings, 192.168.10. Was it 10? 10.1 one as well. Click OK and it's done. Close it. Mm, I don't know why it's st stuck on laptop but it is done as you see. Close it. Close it. I know I need to restart. Mm, anything else? All right, that should be. Yep, yeah. VMA tool works. Works. Go to start menu. Restart.
Yeah, because it's a server OS, it requires a and their comments for all the reason why you turn it over or restart. Because it's in VM, there's nothing in there. There's yeah. Just say others oh, unplanned. Continue. Alright. Control all delete password complex password and that's it. Check the IP address, CMD IP config. I don't know why the default gateway is 0000, 000, 000, 000 but ignore it. Interesting, IPv4 is empty. Hmm. Put it again. But it doesn't work. No worries, just leave it. <sighs> Say the computer name is Servo01. Said looks good. And turn it up. Say cloning, I mean, I mean the snapshot. Ready for cloning, ready for cloning. And put some description. Say username is, like, you can't change it, administrator. Password is complex password. And the other is IP address 192.168.10.1 slash 24. Default gateway 192.168. Dot. No, it's empty. Never mind. Installed VML tools. And yeah, the computer name. PC name. Server SRV01. Take a snapshot. Yes. So basically, it's all done. So, about the cloning, right click on the virtual machine you try to clone, and right click manage clone, say next. Okay, there's two options, current, current state or the, the snapshot. Let's talk on snapshot because that's what we did like for. Ready for cloning, there is a description below, say next. And there's two options, link clone or full clone. Link clone, you need a master file to learn and like operating. And the full clone is basically clone all the files, which is quite large storage and basically just copy and paste the actual VM. So in this case, I'm going to go for link clone. It's going to save the space and quite easy, fast. Say Windows 10, 1803, testing, the location, mm, just leave it. We're done. So same thing on Windows Server. A right click, manage cloning. Existing snapshot, link clone, say Windows Server 2016 test, next, alright, 
So there is a two clone, like quite fast, rather than creating from scratch. Let's boot it up, both machine. Do, 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 do. I wanna know. Same. The experience is exactly the same as well because it's cloned or link clone. And I just forgot you, you might need a snapshot for the clone as well. For like easy management. Say after cloning. Server as well after clone. And it's all done. That's all about this tutorial. And these two machines gonna operate as like, cause it's, I know, clone is fast. You don't need that much effort to creating a new client or new server, like the empty client and empty server. And, and save this space. There's quite a lot of advantage when you're creating it. Bye-bye.